What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble Picasso. Thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do uh, something pretty cool. If you play a lot of mobile games, if you play games in general, this video is for you. Now, there's a lot of games that natively support uh, uh, console controllers. I have a PS4 controller here with me, which today I'm going to be showing you how to play any game on your mobile device using a PS4 controller or an Xbox One controller. Okay, first thing Let's you want to go ahead and do is go to your settings. You want to go to about phone. You want to find your build number and you're going to tap on your build number. Uh, see, I already have developer options enabled, so I don't need to do it, but you just tap on your build number until it says developer, uh, developer options are now enabled. You're gonna go to your, uh, your system, you're gonna look for developer options and you're going to scroll down and you want to make sure that you're going to have a wireless debugging on, okay? That's what you want to do is toggle on wireless debugging. Now I've already done this, so uh, a lot of it is already going to be done for me, but the app that we're gonna be using is Mantis Pro. I will have a link down in the description. It's a free app. You're going to get Mantis Pro and it's going to start up like this. I already have some games in here installed. No game pads connected, auto connecting to Mantis Buddy. Uh, when you first initially see it, it's not going to say auto connecting. It's going to say something else I don't remember at the moment. Um, so you're gonna as go we ahead. see here, there's a couple of ways to launch Mantis Buddy, right? This is what's going to help us connect our controller, uh, calibrate the controller for different but buttons, um, key mapping, etc., stuff like that. Uh, so on here, we have on device, launch Mantis Buddy directly on the device. So this is for Android 11 only. So if you're running in a device uh, that has Android 11, you can just simply tap that, follow the instructions, boom, you're good to go. From Android to Android, so you can, you can connect via uh, USB uh, cable to another Android device and run it that way, or you can connect on the PC. Since this device is running Android 11, all we have to do is click okay, and now it says here it says stay connected to any wi-fi connection so tap on the connect button below a dialog will open you're going to open the multitask window and you're going to tap on the mantis icon tap on split screen and then on the second half you'd open up a window in your settings developer options go to wireless debugging like i showed you before and you will allow all the pop-ups you'll tap pair you'll see a pairing code and then you enter the code in the port number and that's basically it, okay? I've already done this, but um, you know what? Let's go ahead and show you anyways. So we're going to click connect. And as you see here, it says split screen, uh, tap the pair device, uh, pair, and yada, yada, yada. Here you can put in the pairing code and port number, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this into a split screen. I'm going to bring up the task manager. Then I'm going to click that, click split screen. Here's settings at the bottom real multitasking. I'm gonna click connect. Now we have the spot to add, uh, add the pairing code. So I'm gonna go down to developer options, which is right here. Then I'm gonna to go to the wireless, not USB debugging, wireless debugging. We're gonna click on this and turn it on. And then we're going to pair with pairing code right here. I tap on that and there's the code. So it's 132383. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 132383. I believe that was the code. Yeah, 132383. And then the port number is down here, the last five digits, 38061. And go 38061. That's good. I'm gonna click pair. ADB pairing successful. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and close that. And it says here, note, if it gets stuck at any, at this point, just kill Mantis from the notification tray, right? You'll pull down from here, you'll see stop up there. Okay, go for the notification shade. So let me do that and then relaunch it again. Now let's wait and see if it's going to connect. And that's why it said auto connecting Mantis buddy. So we just wait for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wireless debugging connected. And there we go, we are connected. Mantis Buddy is connected. Now let's go ahead and pair uh, my PS4 controller. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the share button and the PS button. 
until the light starts flashing, showing that it's in pairing mode. Can you guys see that? I don't know if it's showing up. There we go. You can see the flashing, it's in pairing mode. I'm going to go to my Bluetooth settings and we are going to uh, scan. We are still pairing. Uh, pair a new device. There's the wireless controller right there. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And once we are paired, now we're going to allow and pair. And now it's blue, so now we are connected. Let's go back to Mantis Buddy, and now it says Gamepad connected. Mantis Buddy is connected. Okay, now the first thing you want to do, or I suggest to do, is we want to go down here and we want to select and go over to calibrate the controller. Okay, uh, start calibration. So now it says to press the, let's see if we can get you to see everything here. So we're going to click on it. Check mark, that was good. Calibrated. Good. You just keep following the instructions to make sure all the buttons are calibrated. Now I do let my one year old play with this controller. So <laughs> if all the buttons work, it's, it'll be a miracle. And to be honest, it looks like everything's working. Select. Oh, there's a mismatch. Let's try that again. There we go. Start button. Uh, the PS button or the Xbox button. Looks like we're pretty good. Left thumbstick. Right thumbstick. Moving joystick. Good. Other analog stick, or thumbstick, I should say. And now free test. And now you can just check and you can see all the corresponding movements here. Making sure that all the buttons are working perfect. Okay, excellent there. So now we're done with that. So the controller is calibrated. Here you can do a lot of some other stuff in here as well. Swap the axis and thumbstick dead zone. I don't, you know, trouble any of those type of things. So we just leave it at that. Uh, but you do have that. So now certain games, uh, like I mentioned, natively work with uh, uh, controllers or they have controller support for those ones. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend trying to recalibrate anything like that unless you wanted more functionality. I guess you could do that uh, for like COD Mobile, right? Call of Duty Mobile natively works with it. So I don't map anything to that. You just plug it, you just uh, connect and you're good to go. Uh, Asphalt 9, good to go. Uh, certain games out there, Minecraft, you don't need to do stuff like that, but that I really like. So now there is a little icon over here, as you can see right here. This icon enables you to map the keys, uh, um, make different changes. You can add the buttons. Like I said, you can make different phases. So when the game starts up, it starts in phase one, but if you have a different set of controls for a different mode in the game, you can change to a different phase. Um, settings, again, the sensitivity for the controller. Uh, um, it shows you which controller is active. You can activate a different controller, et cetera, et cetera. And you have some settings here. So now I do have in phase one, a bunch of buttons already set. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn up the brightness here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to, I'm gonna add a phase, so I'm gonna add phase two. We're gonna to go to phase two, as you see here, phase two is not active, no mappings are there, okay? Now, if the game that you are playing has a sort of uh, mode or a firing range mode, something like that, where you can actually go in and, you know, not get killed while mapping or control settings, um, let's try to see if I can find one here. I believe there might, be one in here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. I think there's some type of, if not, you just gotta do it on the fly and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so let's just go into Team Deathmatch. All right, let's go, what is this one over here? Custom game, okay, maybe custom game. Oh, there's already people there. Or maybe I can create a game. 10 kills, three minutes, yada, 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 team deathmatch, battle. Okay, so we just created a custom game. 
So we're gonna go in and we are going to map. Okay, so here's the buttons on screen. Okay, as you see, so we have our zoom in and I think this is automatic shooting. So you don't have to worry about uh, anything like that. But if we go to settings and we were to turn auto shoot off, then you would have the button to shoot. So we can zoom, shoot, zoom out. Okay, so we have all of that. And of course to move, put down the controller. So, so without the controller, here we go. Removing, heal, grenade, all of that good stuff. Whatever those are. Or actually, like, I think Chinese firecrackers. Can zoom in, shoot, uh, reload. Okay, so let's go ahead and map the buttons. This is one of my favorite games, to be honest. I love this game. Okay, so for mapping, we go. We're gonna go like this. I'm just trying to set it up so you guys can see everything as I'm doing it. Okay, so we're gonna bring up the mantis, the little mantis buddy here. We're going to ha uh, tap the plus sign, and here we can add a variety of different inputs. So we have uh, again, this is for MOBA, right? Uh, we have swipe gestures that we can add as well. So basically pressing a button on the controller will count as a swipe on the screen. I love that. But what we're gonna go to here is key. So first of all, actually, here's the left stick and the right thumb stick. So we're gonna go ahead and put the left stick. And initially, you just grab it and put it where you want it to go. But after a while, you get a feel for where the optimal place is for it, you know? And also the size of the actual stick matters to the sensitivity as well. Uh, so it's a lot of, you know, you get in there like I did here. I'm in a custom game, so I can come in here and play around with it. So now for uh, zoom, or not zoom, sorry, for scope in, I'm going to use L1. As you see here, it shows up as LB, which I believe are Xbox controls or buttons, which is fine. So now that is going to bring up our scope, right? Then we're gonna go with the shoot, RB there, uh, grenade. Going to use LT or L2 on the PS4 controller. And then RT or R2 on the PS4 controller. Crouch, I'm going to use uh, uh, the push in the thumbstick. So to look for the button, I'm going to press it down. We got left thumb, that's for crouch. Uh, for reload, that's going to be the square button. Uh, this is going to be X, and that's just right over the, and there. And then to heal, I will use the circle button to heal. There we go. That's pretty much it. It's all mapped up. Now all I have to do, again, this is, so if I tap that back, I can go and look at what phase. So this is phase two, and this is phase one. So phase one is what was already here. That's what I did before. As you can see, it's basically the same thing. And phase two is what we just created now. So let's close this out, and let's go and give it a test run. So now, with my controller, let me move this up a little bit. With my controller now, you can see I'm completely controlling everything. I can scope in and shoot, scope in, shoot. All right, you can throw a grenade over there. Sensitivity is a bit wonky, as you can see. Like the input, uh, the input is pretty good. I can crouch, scope here. I forgot it's not tapped. It's whole uh, tapped to scroll. Sensitivity. You can always just go in to the game. Uh, where is it? Sensitivity is up a little bit there, so I can just turn down the sensitivity a bit, go back. Oh, wait a minute. Who did I get killed by? Did somebody join my game? What, wait, what is going on? Okay, I think somebody joined my game. Bro, nobody's supposed to be in here. What is this? Okay, I'm... Okay, so it's not... This guy's not supposed to be in my game. This guy's not supposed to be in my game.
This guy's not supposed. <laughs> okay, honestly, this guy's not supposed to be in my game. I don't know who told him that he could be in my game. Okay, I'm kind of upset. I don't know who this guy is and he just jumped into my game. But as you can see, it does work. I'm using the controller. So if you want to have that full real estate. Oh my Lord. And he's, he's, he's getting up my nerves. All right, we're just going to pretend that that didn't happen. Okay. But um, why did you come in my game? Yeah, you were the best player. I was not prepared for anybody. I was doing a video. I'm showing the people how to do something. And you just came in my game and you just made me look like a fool. But anyways, as you can see, it works, okay? This is not a game that has controller support and that's how you can do it with any game. Racing games, uh, idle games, you can do it however you want, again. And as you see here, my icon is very prominent right there. So you can actually uh, 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 see, there's the opacity. I can go like that and when I tap it, the button should stay solid. I'm trying to remember where I did that, but no opacity. And then I turn it off. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. It's this one. But no opacity. Okay, okay. So that's for the actual buttons there. So you can pretty much make it invisible. Just so you can also see where you are placing them. But this is how... I got that. So if you don't want that to show up, if you're recording the screen and you don't want to see that little icon there, you just go in into the settings there and you just bring the opacity down all the way. There you go. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick little video showing how you can play Mantis Buddy, a uh, uh, PS4 controller on your Android device using Mantis Buddy. Okay. Um, this was for an Android device running Android 11, where you do not have to connect your device to another device or to the PC uh, to get this running only for Android 11. Okay. If you are running from, if you do want to use the PC, uh, uh, if you don't have a uh, device running Android 11 and you want to get the same benefit uh, from the Mantis Buddy, uh, leave a link down below. Let me know. And I will definitely do a follow-up video uh, showing how to get Mantis Buddy running on your device that's not Android 11 using a PC or another Android device. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around. It's your homeboy, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.